Today, as a college lecturer, I was busy enrolling and registering students who I haven't got the straight A style grades because they didn't go to a public school. They um, want a career, they want a life, they want training, they want education. But what they want and what we can offer, unfortunately, are two different things. They want training with an opportunity of a job, a future. We're not offering that. We're not offering them an opportunity. What we're offering them is a second-rate education, while at the same time, those who can, those who can afford it, those who are able to, are able to go on to higher education. And we know that what's been happening to higher education, and as Lee said, the squeeze are going to be on um, the working class youth from many different backgrounds, many of them from the ethnic backgrounds, the crisis is hitting home here and now. And when we're told we're all in it together, well, as far as the message I'd like to say is, yes, we are all in it together. We're all in it together fighting the Tories and fighting the Lib Dems and fighting the system. Now, what can we do? Because that's what we're here for. What can we do? What I hope is when the RMT, do, if they do ballot to go on strike, I hope that the users, the communities, can all go out on the picket lines in support of the RMT. When the FBU workers go out on strike, I hope we can build the bigger support amongst the communities, amongst the labour movement, in support of those workers. Because if we do that, we can actually show there's real resistance. I actually welcome, many of us are moaning last year about the fact that the fascists got half a million votes. Many of us are moaning about what can we do, it's terrible. And over the summer, what we've seen is the growth and mushrooming of a whole load of autonomous anti-cuts committees, which are saying across the country, we, we are in it together, fighting the Tories and fighting the Lib Dem. And if the Labour councillors up and down the country want to join in the fight and instead of imposing cuts, oppose cuts, we'll be in support of them opposing the cuts. But if they implement the cuts, we will be against them just as much as we'd be against the condemns. Now, one of the initiatives that have emerged out of the campaign is the recognition that this crisis is an international crisis and that there's a need for international links and there's a need to build up international solidarity. There's going to be a general strike in Spain. The European TUC is organising mobilisations there's going to be a need for a whole range of international solidarity. Now, CORE has put out an international statement, which I welcome, but there's also 34 organisations across Europe that have also put out statements, and we have to work out how we can work alongside and be part of and integrate in and strengthen the international resistance against the crisis. So there is going to be a need for an international conference as well as a national conference, which brings militants, activists, autonomous groups together that can confront the crisis internationally. So those are some of the issues I'd like to put on the agenda. The other thing, just to finish off, um, comrades from Manchester have been busy organising um, a conference in Manchester, um, the Convention of the Left, on the 24th, 25th. I'll put some leaflets out. They also have issued a statement that they're not setting up an alternative campaign. They are also, like we're doing here, like many other people are doing, trying to bring people together, but respecting and recognising the autonomy and independence of local campaigns, but trying to improve the network of liaisons across the labour movement, along with community groups, to actually provide that strength of mobilisation that's going to be needed when we take on and reverse the cuts that this government's doing. But that's going to require a much wider political response as well. Thank you. Thank you.